We have Gary Mannion. Uh, today he will, will go into trance and allow Abraham to speak. Abraham is the healer who works with um, Gary for, I don't know, 15 years. And um, you can ask questions. It'd be great if you could just stick with uh, subjects which could affect everyone or everyone can learn from it. Gary also does, you know, more small groups where people can ask about their health and their family's health and Abraham will give guidance there. But when there are so many, I, maybe it is better if we stick to, to subjects which are a little bit broader. Gary, do you want to just say a little bit how you came to work with Abraham and, and how you actually work with him? No worries. Uh, I'll keep it brief as my head's big enough now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I've been working with Abraham now for about 15 and a half years. Um, so he he was mainly my, my hitting guide. Um, and I got talked into doing trance with him um, because he may be able to offer insight that I couldn't. Um, and when I first did trance with him, I used to be able to hear everything that was going on. Um, so people would ask a question and I would think, oh, the answer is going to be this, this and this. And he'd come out with a completely different answer. Uh, but his answers always kind of made sense. Um, Abraham's been in spirit a long time. Um, so what you're getting when you ask him a question is you get in his experience, his knowledge. Um, if it disagrees with your own belief system, that's completely fine. Um, you believe what you want to believe. Um, you're just getting his opinion. So don't take it personally if it's a bit different uh, from yours. Um, it takes me a couple of minutes to go into the trance. Um, so feel free to get tea, coffee, vodka, whatever does it for you. <laughs> no, vodka, uh, not yet. Okay, vodka afterwards. Uh, all spirits welcome. So don't be afraid to talk to him. He's only a dead guy. He's not going to hurt you. Um, and if sometimes what he might do, if if you ask a personal question, such about health and stuff, he may say, speak to the medium afterwards. Um, and what he's doing is just to save energy. If it's a remedy or something like that, he'll just inspire my mind at the end. Um, so if that's what, if he says, speak to the medium afterwards, that's what he's meaning. Um, also, if I need to clarify anything afterwards, I can always go back and ask him if it needs to be. Um, but yeah, enjoy. Um, there's kind of there's no taboo subjects you can ask a bit about anything uh just don't spend the whole hour talking about ukraine uh, <laughs> i'm sure there's plenty of other questions out there um and don't we in this one we don't do personal questions otherwise we get 60 people going who's my guide uh which gets very boring for everyone else um so yeah kind of keep it general or you know what happens when you die have you met jesus does he play poker that kind of stuff um but yeah whatever you're interested in um, and, and enjoy. Please, if you ask the question how Abraham works with his medium or in any shape or form you want to mention the medium, please say the medium. Don't say his name as when you call somebody by name, you always bring their consciousness forward. And that's one thing we really don't want to do. Could you please remember that? Just say the medium or that guy in the dark shirt or whatever, but just don't call his name. Eckhart is a professor at a university in Germany and me being German, so we had that in common. Um, so Eckhart, I met Eckhart at Kai Müger's house and um, he, when I met him, he had this huge bag to a seance and I go, oh, well, well, you know, what is that all about? And he goes, well, I'm still, look, I'm still trying to convince mediums to let me work with them as a scientist. So he had all sorts of gadgets. And um, and I go, oh, you should ask the medium here now. I go, ask him, he loves gadgets. And so he goes, yeah, but um, do you think he would work with me? And I go, yeah, no worries, I'm sure he would. Yeah, and sure enough, as soon as I told the medium, a scientist wanted to bring all his gadgets he was in so we then for I don't know maybe 18 months we would meet somewhere in the world out here in Australia England and in Germany and then uh, spent a whole week with the medium and his team and the scientists and um, the the difference Eckhart makes compared to others is Eckhart actually works with the spirit team. He doesn't work with us, like he didn't work with us. He didn't have any questions for us. He didn't have any question for the medium. He had only questions for the spirit team. 
And so they would decide whenever that we would meet for a week, they would decide what they wanted to show and how far they could go with all these gadgets. And um, COVID came, so that stopped it for a little while, but we will go back to that. Eckhart would put, say, um, senses on the medium. Does does, is there muscle action? Is there movement? Is there, I don't know, I'm not so technical. But so they tried lots of ways to show what is actually happening to the medium through a seon. How does the temperature change? How does the weight change when ectoplasm is drawn? The medium actually loses up to 50% of their body weight when the ectoplasm is drawn out. So if people say, oh, that's not real, that's nothing. No, it is. And this medium here was always hoping they keep that weight, but it never happened. It always came back. But, uh, you know, the temperature gets really low. The heartbeat can go to eight beats a minute. So there is a lot happening in a medium when they work for physical. And so when people say, oh, it's not dangerous or, you know, it's all we're making it up. Actually, no, it is. It is dangerous to the medium. And when people work with ectoplasm, it is super, super important that you're aware and that you are careful and that you listen to what is said. So, um, hello. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Can you understand me all right? Yes, I can. Hello, Abraham. Then let us begin with the first question. Okay. Laurie started asking... The tall man and the short man, they must have seen in your seances. What is their interest in humans? When you leave the earthly sphere behind and you return to my side of life, you do not automatically gain wings, place yourself in a cloud and give it a heart. You also do not gain all the information of the universe. When you return to my side of life, you will still learn, you will still grow. And indeed, there are many who will return to my side of life who still have an interest to work with your side of life to help your side of life. And physical mediumship is one route they would take. So the personalities in question have chosen this route to work with your side of life, to gain the experience to work with the scientists so that the veil between your side of life and my side of life can go thinner. Thank you, Abraham. Okay, Gaina is asking, is this the same Abraham as the one who works with Esther Hick? We are different personalities. They are a group of consciousnesses that come together Similar, I act as the mouthpiece for a group of consciousnesses. So we are different personalities, but hopefully we pass on the same information. Jennifer asks, does Abraham have any opinion on infilling your soul with divine love? Indeed, my friend, you are spirit first and foremost. If you want something to change within your reality, you must accept that everything you experience is your reality. But indeed, another for, in order for another to love you, you must be able to love yourself. If you wish to make any change within your environment, you must make that change within yourself. Indeed, too often mankind has forgotten that spirit is the master, matter is the servant. They have allowed the matter to become the master. The more you can become aware that you are spirit first and foremost, the more you can understand that when it comes to healing, you are the most important client, and that in order to truly help others, you must be a beacon for others to follow. Are the Bigfoots around here, I guess in America, friendly? And what kind of gifts do they like? In regards to the personality and questions, indeed they do work with your side of life. And indeed, most of the time, they have no intention of reacting or working with mankind. In most cases, which is why they're not in the norm and in your public eye. But indeed, there may be a curiosity. Indeed, as they are creatures of nature, if you were to offer a gift, I would advise to do so in the form of nature. Uh, Deb asks, can you say a few words about parallel lives and how those simultaneous lifetimes affect or inten uh, intensify the issues that we are currently working through, wanting to heal? Indeed, my friends, in order for every experience to be experienced, there must be a multitude of timelines where every possibility can be carried out, every experience can be gained from every perspective. Now, my friends, you are the personality that you are currently, and this personality will continue to grow and to be nurtured within my side of life. Eventually, once you progress, you'll become aware of the other lives that you lived, the other aspects that you have been, 
But for this moment in time, as you experience time, as you experience perception, it is the one life, the one personality, which you must concern yourself with, which you must concern yourself with. Indeed, my friends, you may draw upon other lifetimes, other timelines, in order to form the lessons and the experiences that you will go through to, in order to create the personality that you are within your side of life. Indeed, they will come together with the earthly experiences that you go through in order to carry out and to manifest those experiences for you, thereby expanding the whole. Jill said, does Abraham continue to give healing? I imagine she's talking about you started healing in, in America if you continue to keep heal those who were present, maybe. Indeed, any individual that has been to this medium for a healing process, that healing process will have begun many days as you experience time before the treatment and should carry on for many days after the treatment. But indeed, we must give time for the body to adjust as you experience time and for changes to occur. Once we have removed certain layers, we can then begin to work deeper. This cannot all be done at once. So indeed, yes, the healing shall continue for many days after your physical treatment. Oh, while we just done that, would you please just say something about the healing crisis? Indeed, my friends, as your body adjusts, as it repels, you may get symptoms related to this. One great example is muscle. If you have fibrous tissue that is built up, cell memory which has gone wrong, then in order to correct this, we may use inflammation, we may use fluid within the body to correct the body, to correct the cell to how we want it to be. This will mean that in the coming days as you experience time, you will have more tenderness, more swelling in the areas where you currently have pain. You may experience pains where you did not have pains before, as your body readjusts and realigns. But this is a temporary process. Indeed, if you have an emotional burden, which is behind your symptoms, please understand, my friends, we cannot remove the emotion. We cannot take the lesson away from you. What we can do is we can bring the emotion to the surface. We can enable you to go through the experience, to learn from the experience. But you must go through that lesson. You must go through that experience. It must have a form of manifestation in order for you to gain that experience. This you call your healing crisis. Abraham, how can one initiate self-healing? What does it take? Firstly, all healing is self-healing. All a healer on your side of life or my side of life can do is to act as a conduit to the healing that you yourself allow. If you do not allow it on some level, then there is nothing that we can do except to work to help get you to a stage where you are ready to accept. So indeed, all healing is self-heal. Too often on your side of life, you are concerning yourself with symptoms rather than cause. You are too quick to take a medication for a headache rather than address the reason why the headache exists in the first place. So indeed, my friends, if you truly want to address self-healing within your side of life, Rather than reach for the pillbox or for a medication of another form, I would advise you to sit in the power. Become aware of the inner voice, which is the spirit. Focus on your own energy and understand why you are manifesting the symptoms. What is behind this? What is the lesson which must be learned and addressed? For indeed, my friend, you can cry over spilled milk, but the milk will still be spilt and you will still have to go through the experience. All that crying over the experience will do will make the experience less enjoyable. What happens to the person after someone dies by suicide or depression? When anyone returns from your side of life to my side of life, they will go through a healing process. The initial transition will be in a way that the consciousness, the personality, the spectrum can understand. So for example, if you were to pass in an accident or you were to pass through the acts of, say, suicide, you would find yourselves in a hospital situation within my side of life. From there, you would receive healing and guidance. In time, you would come to learn that you had left your side of life behind and that you would return to my side of life. If there is a malfunction of the mind or the chemical system within your side of life, which is the cause which leads to the effect, this is left behind on your side of life. It is not retained within my side of life. And indeed, how long it takes to receive healing within my side of life is an individual journey. 
However, once you have come to learn that you have moved on to my state of life, that you are well, then you will continue your progress. You will not be punished within my side of life. For every action that is deemed within your side of life is chosen before your physical incarnation. It's an opportunity to learn and grow. Indeed, my friends, if there is an entity with horns and a pitchfork waiting to punish you, then I went through the wrong door. So indeed, my friends, please understand, within my side of life, we understand you better than you understand yourself. There is no action you could take which would surprise us. There is no action you could take that would make us think any different of you. For we understand you better than you understand yourself. Only one question about the Ukraine. What is going on? Daddy, my friends, it is in your darkest names that mankind will learn the most. I wish that I could say you are experiencing the ending of your trauma, but as I look at the energy, this is not the case. Indeed, the steps had already begun in the previous years as you experienced time, but what you are experiencing on your global stage is the first stages of war. It will not be the last stages, I'm afraid. But indeed, mankind will come through this. We are not done with your planet yet. We are not done with mankind yet. But indeed, as I look at the energy, the fear and frustration around the situation is to grow. And the lessons that mankind will soon face will be etched around this, which is one of the reasons why physical mediumship within your side of life is growing stronger. Whenever there is a time of great passing back to my side of life, the veil between your side and my side goes thinner, and the physical phenomena will grow. Thank you, Abraham. Um, Ojil asked, does Abraham continue to give healing after the medium healing session? Yeah, we talked about that already, that it continues. To Abraham, I have a daughter in spirit. I have not been able to contact her for about 20 years. I have contact through a medium at that time. Do you think she has moved on in some way, Tris? No, Abraham, please understand. We are not governed by time like you are governed by time. And indeed, every moment that ever existed or will ever exist is occurring right now. It is only your perspective which makes you deem this moment as an individual moment. So indeed, even if you follow the pathway of reincarnation, that personality would still be within my set of life because we are not governed by time. Often, if communication does not occur to your side of life, it is not because the loved one does not want to come through. Often, the blockage is created within your side of life. Indeed, grief or strong emotions or a strong want to hear from the person can often create blockages. This is why we will often advise you when you wish to contact with my side of life to set aside any intentions and wants and desires. Indeed, spend time in your day to make your loved one aware of the communication you wish to make that night through a medium or through some other apparatus, but then put it out of your thoughts. Where if you hold it within your thoughts, you are blocking the flow of energy towards. Thank you. Are there birthday parties to celebrate big milestones for children in the spirit like we do on Earth? No, dear, this is not just limited to children. This is limited to all personalities that wish to celebrate life. Which indeed, I have never met an atheist who was unhappy about being in the spirit world. So indeed, my friends, we have many celebrations within my side of life. It does not become old and boring just because you reach the world of spirit. And indeed, for many of you, you will feel as if you have not lived until you have returned to my side of life. Indeed, your side of life will seem like a disability when you see how limited the physical form is. Thank you. Okay, this, I have to read that very slow. Hi, Abraham. Are you aware of the holographic medical pots beds in the 5D world? What are your thoughts about them? And do you see the possibility of those healing technologies being brought to our 3D world? Indeed, I am aware of technology. I am aware of the idea. But I am also aware of the understanding of this is still very lacking to your side of life. There is still much education and knowledge and capability within the DNA, which must be tapped into before this will be fully fledged as a reality within your side of life. But indeed, the aspects are there. The groundwork is laid. Sadly, it will not be as fast as many are hoping, but it will be brought to your side of life. Thank you. 
Can you comment? Oh, my favorite. Can you comment on free will exit points? And does anyone leave before their time like a suicide? Is return to spirit always predetermined or does free will enter into it? I am yet to meet a personality who returned to my side of life by accident or before they were mental. Indeed, my friends, you have complete free will. Everything you experience within your side of life is your choice. However, you make this choice before you incarnate, when you have the understanding and awareness of why you were making that decision in the first place. When you are not bogged down by the conscious mind, the material wants and desires. So indeed, from the earthly mind, you would put to yourself why you would go through these challenges and experiences. But from my side, you understand what is gained, what is achieved by going through that. So indeed, you have the free will, but it is chosen before the physical incarnation. As I have spoken earlier, no one returns to my side of life before they are mental, and in a way that they were not mental. Indeed, my friends, it is hard enough to keep mankind on your side of life as it is. If it were not planned, I dare say that mankind would not be there now. For example, I will give you. If you were to walk down the street and to be hit by a car and to return to my side of life before you were mental, everything you still had yet to achieve would not be done. Any children you were to bear, you were to meet, and life you were meant to influence would not occur. So too for the person in the car. Therefore, the whole of reality would be changed from that one incident. So for this reason, everything is planned before the incarnation. Now, there are times within your life where near-death experiences will occur, where those on your side of life will be given a glimpse of my side of life. However, you will not return before you are mental. These occurs because we wish to change chemical reactions within the mind, within the cells, and to make life changes within your world. But nobody returns before the mental. Thank Talk among yourselves for a moment. I should get a bit more control of the medium's mind. Okay. That's one of the hard things to accept as for humanity that we are responsible. No heavens. Okay. Um, how and when was the spirit one created? As I have spoken earlier, we are not governed by time. There is only the one moment. It is your perception which makes you deem that as separate moments. But it is only one moment, every birth, every death. The purpose of the soul is to gain experience. The more you experience, the more there is to experience. Therefore, you expand the infinite. And it is an infinite process. There is no beginning, there is no end. The concept of time is a physical construct, one which is greatly changed and adapted once you return to my side of life. Okay, thank you. Oh, can you explain... A pause. How did I receive a bracelet from my dad in spirits through a pause? Indeed, most of the pods on your side of life are taken from different times and different spaces upon your planet and then returned in often the seance conditions and the physical mediumship conditions to the individuals in question. These can be often with a healing modality attached to this. And this is often why many pods will be taken back at a later time. Once they have served their purpose with healing, they will then be returned and given elsewhere. Now, just because you may have received an apport today does not mean that it has come from your planet today. It could come from any time in the past or future, but often they are from your side of life. Some apports may be brought in from my side of life or other dimensions of existence, but in the majority of cases, it will be from your planet. And there will always be a purpose attached to the apart. Okay, thank you. Tom, the time we spend trying to better understand the nature of our existence and what comes after our time on Earth, could it be displacing other priorities for this phase of our existence? Not for the individual. And indeed, there are many upon your planet who have nothing and no want and desire to work with the spirit world because their experiences do not necessitate the need for them to gain that experience. So indeed, if you are a spiritual person and you dedicate your life to the study of spirit, that is the experiences you have chosen to go through. If you are a monk and you have chosen to spend your existence meditating on a rock, that is the experience you have chosen to go through. If you choose to be a mechanic and nothing else, that is the experience you have chosen to go through. 
So each individual will carry out the experience they are meant to. Now on this, my friends, you are spirit first and foremost. That is never lost to you. You all have the ability to work with my side of life. However, if you have not chosen that experience to go through, that gift may never manifest within your earthly life. It is not that you do not have the ability. You have simply not chosen the experience or the energies necessary to necessitate that within your existence. Were you the same personality, Abraham, when you were on earth? And were you also a healer? Indeed, the personality I bring forward to now is a memory of the last life I lived within your side of life. In life, I was not a healer. I used to lead tribes. I was a religious man. At least I believed I was. I discovered that many of my beliefs were wrong once I returned to spirit side of life. But I also accept that at the time, I knew no better. And I did the best with what I had. But indeed, I wish to work with your side of life. I wish to help your side of life. And I was advised by my helpers and guides to get into the modality of healing and to continue to work with your side of life within this modality. But indeed, my friends, you are very aware that you have guides and helpers while you walk your side of life. However, when you return to my side of life, you will still have guides and helpers throughout your journey, those with more experience and knowledge to guide you where your desires lie, where your true intentions lie. So for me, it was healing. And it is a modality which I got into once I returned to the side of spirit. Thank you. What is the most important thing we can do now, today, to raise the collective vibration on Earth? How long have you got? <laughs> I was if I am to keep it brief, if I am to give one example, then I would advise, similar to what I have spoken earlier, rather than to make changes in another, focus on yourself, go into the inner voice, the inner world, which is the spirit. For me, my friends, the physical manifestation is the last stage of manifestation. It begins long before it exists within your material world, within your reality. It begins as an energy and then a thought. So become aware of it at its energetic state, at its template, and make the changes there so that the tragedies you experience in your world that you wish to change Never have to manifest in the first place. Thank you. Uh, how important is drinking water to our health? How much is required? Does it help during the transition period? If you wish to stay within your side of life, it is an essential ingredient to maintain the human body. Indeed, there are many that can live without this through the uh, use of the mouth, but the body must still absorb. The body must still take on moisture and water in order to control the bodily functions. So it is an essential ingredient for the physical form. So the Bresetarians, they'd be okay without? There are those within your side of life who do not drink of the water, but the body will still find ways to absorb, whether through the breath or through the skin. Ah, okay. Do you want to go any further there or? In regards to the amount of water, this will be down oh. to the individual. And there are many factors which will come into effect with that. So if there is a more personal question, I can tie in and answer more personally, but in a generally would differ from person to person. Thank you. Are the UAP sightings in the US from extraterrestrials? As I am aware of the energy, I can confirm that some are, yes. Some are misunderstood, some are natural phenomena, and some are from your world. But indeed, there are a small selection which are from those intelligences not of your world. Can you and your peers help humans create a cure for COVID? Are more variants inevitable? Indeed, my friends, we are working with your side of life. And as I have spoken earlier, everything you experience is an opportunity to learn and grow. Mankind is going through a great time of transition and change. In regards to pandemics with disease, you have not seen the end of them. However, you will have a change within your pandemic. Your next will be in the form of financial rather than health. But it is not the end of your health crises. But indeed, every cure you come up with, another disease will manifest. And again, there is the opportunity to learn and to grow with this. But what you are experiencing at the moment 
is how fragile your planet is and how dire it is that changes occur upon your planet. And indeed, one of the only ways to open your eyes to this was to affect the health of the human form. For only then did you stop to listen, stop to see the effect and the cause and what must be done. With that, my friends, I must return the medium to you. Thank you very much, Abraham.